Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to review the MG ZS car by Getco. They just released it today and have the opportunity to run it for a few hours to give you a short review of how is it like to drive this car sorry it's quite dark let me see if I can on the light yeah, not able to on the light in the video mode so this is the MG ZS electric vehicle Okay, so I've just unlocked the vehicle because it will auto lock itself after about a minute. Okay, see, it goes off. So, lucky the door is open. <laughs> so, I would be able to uh, get in. Alright, let's record with uh, light. Okay. Here we go, this is the interior cabin of the MG ZS Electric. Seats are manually adjusted, no electric seats. Oh, the driver's side is electric, yeah. Okay guys, the driver's side is electric. This is the fastest you can go. <laughs> okay, very well. Let's have a look at the rear passenger. Oh, there's no key. The first thing I notice is there's no rear lights. Okay. This is like a soft uh fabric there's no real lights I would say uh, enough leg room okay flat here no transmission tunnel right although I feel a bit of bum but there should not be any transmission tunnel because uh, this is electric vehicle This should be a charging port. Yep, USB charging port. We have ISOFIX points for your baby seats or child seats, as you call it. Let's have a quick look at the boot. So, this is actually my first time uh, getting into this car so I've not seen these these are all my first time seeing this interior so forgive me if there are actually any weird um, pauses in between my comments because I will need to actually process the scene or, or rather process what I'm looking at lah, you know then I can actually comment on it so this is the boot space very solid closing okay um, probably this has been booked previously there are some stains here I mean like I, sh I need to appeal to hirers previous hirers please keep the car clean and tidy for the next person who will be using it 
But apart from that, seats are clean, good, right? Okay. So let's have a look again inside. It's pretty dark here, so I'm thankful I was able to record with uh, flash mode on but I'm not able to zoom out that's the thing okay firstly okay you got this uh, instrument panel here right analog cluster analog cluster Okay, so instead of the normal fuel gauge, you have the battery gauge over here. You have the, uh, I would say, uh, like a rev meter, you know, some sort of green means uh, it's more battery efficient, you know. And as you go higher, as you go higher, it says boost. Right. So let's start this thing up. Now, where is the start button? Okay, here you go. There you go. Just a minute uh, while I push my seat. This and around in. this oh. time each night, you know what happens. I dish out one of my custom made poems for you. There's no need for any radio in an electric vehicle, man. Because it's just nice to actually. Um, enjoy the silence, you know, while you drive. So, this comes uh, factory fitted. 7 inch, I think. Uh, looks like an Android player. Very responsive. Not too bad. Hmm, not too bad at all. Yep, not too bad at all. Right. The standard um, analog controls for the aircon. For the fan. Okay. Let me lower it down to the lowest setting so we can enjoy the peacefulness. So it's quite cool to have this type of gear shifters as opposed to the traditional gear lever, you know. A second how do I off it this is off but there's still light oh well okay okay so we step on the brake okay do I pull oh okay okay I see oh it's like a old school a radio dial man Standard reverse camera, that's nice to have. Okay, so where's the electronic parking brake? Alright. So let me see again. Oh, okay. It does not work that way, so you have to push it and let go. Okay, then it'll be D. So neutral, just one time you'll do. And reverse. Okay. Okay. So, do you can you push this button down? Oh, you can. Okay. All right. So that's the gear in P, and this is the parking brake. So when I push to D, the parking brake goes off automatically. 
and then push to P all right it goes on which is cool um, is this a automatic brake hole I think yeah should be maybe too many uh, fancy buttons nowadays in cars it's hard to catch up look what we have we have mode okay so when you press the mode it changes to eco sport normal eco normal sport okay Let's use normal first, alright? Curse. Um, kinetic energy regenerating system, if I can still recall. This is very common in F1 cars, right? Whereby kinetic energy will be transferred back to the motor. In this sense, uh, it will actually recharge your battery. Okay, so if we push this, we have the region level 2, 1, 3. 3 is the highest, so we leave it to 2, okay? So what it does, it's the same for most of the EV cars. When you let off the gas pedal, you will feel like the car is brick king for you a bit depends on the level that you've chosen and this results in your battery getting recharged because your wheels are still spinning all right if i got that wrong uh, please leave a comment below thanks so the next button or lever we have here is battery all right so when you push that up you can see the range to empty we have balance 73 kilometers left Hopefully, uh, I'm able to stop by a shell charging station to show you guys how actually to charge this. So, we have to, we have to look at the charging port later on. Okay, guys, if you have used the car before, please throw away your used bottles. Please don't leave any free gifts, yeah? Luckily, there's no food around because I hate aliens or other cockroaches in the car, right? So these two bottles, <sighs> gotta go. Okay, let's look for the charging port. If I were to charge this car. Normally it's at the front. Okay, I saw something here. Right, can we open this? Um, is it pushing the button? No. Do I yank it out? There might be a charging port behind here, but it looks too big to be a charging port. How do you touch it, man? Anyway, cup holders, cubby hole. Yeah. This opens up the engine bay. Okay, this adjusts your mirror.
Walau, eh, so heavy This is one of the heaviest This is actually the heaviest uh, What, bonnet Lever that I'm lifting up eh. Okay, electric motor We can see there's a QR code That says side motor uh, Because MG is owned by side motors Yeah, I got it. So you push it in. There you go. So there isn't actually like a button. It's cool if let's say you press a button and it pops out, you know. But there's a catch here. Okay, so push it in. It pops out. And just lift it up. Alright. So here you go are the charging caps Okay, fast charging you will need to plug in two of these Let's take it for a spin Should raise it higher a bit because I'm too short. This is actually my second EV review. Uh, the first one, I managed to get hold of the uh, Hyundai Kona EV, right? Links at the top. You can view that also. Hopefully in the days or the weeks to come, I'll be able to book the uh, Hyundai Ioniq EV as well. It's such a joy, doors automatically lock above a certain speed. So it's just a joy to ride in EV because it's just so quiet so peaceful especially after a long days at work you sit down in this cabin so silent so I just notice uh, when I come to a complete stop Okay, the parking brake will hold for me. Actually, I should have 
then yeah, left. Okay, there's still space. Good. All right. There's a petrol station. That's just up ahead, and I really need to pee. Okay, I'll text. guys we'll be right back okay so EVs are good for their instant power let's switch to sports mode of region breaking. Let me check the curse level. It's at two, moderate. Number one is light. Yeah, num not so much for number one.
this also has a 3 second indicator so just push the stock down it will blink 3 times and then it cancels no need to actually push the stock all the way So you have to activate this uh, automatic parking brake system Otherwise it will move forward if the gear is still engaged It depends on the gradient of the road So if it's sloping down a bit Then the vehicle will move forward when the gear is engaged I wouldn't say gear, I would say drive selector. Yeah, that's more appropriate, isn't it? Big hour traffic. There's a couple of controls on the steering wheel itself You have the volume up, volume down button, mute button, reverse forward track uh, You can actually call from here There's a source button And then there's the button to navigate What menu? Yeah, the LCD menu here Adjust the brightness setting uh, See any warning information that we might have the range to empty, the current journey, cumulated total, electrical information such as the current voltage, the motor speed, yeah, and the current that's flowing. You also have tire pressure indicator, not too bad. left with 61 kilometers charge and it's already prompting you to go to the nearest uh, charging station and charge your car which is good you know sometimes you might just be happily driving and you're not aware that your battery mister is running low so it's good to have uh, this kind of warning Compared to the Hyundai Kona EV, uh, this doesn't have uh, uh, what we call blind spot monitoring indicators. So if a car passes you on the left or right, uh, it doesn't show up. Well, that's a very small thing actually. Also to take note, uh, to save your battery life if you were to blast the aircon it will use up more battery it will consume more battery 
so you'll find your range getting lower by the minute very fast so keep your uh, air condition at its uh, optimum settings if it's if it's auto use the auto settings right and the fan keep it to low not too high so you know it doesn't consume much yeah if you were to fully blast it then you will consume more battery power okay let's head to the nearest uh, petrol kiosk here which is Shell because uh, Shell also offers fast charging so all you have to do is to download the green lots app on your mobile phone select the charging station normally there will be a QR code for you to scan plug it in and it's ready to go Oh damn, there's already a Tesla charging there. Damn it. expect to see a Tesla here in this residential estate but here it is using one for charging I wish there are two slots you know so you can park beside and charge <sighs> okay turns out the Tesla has left so I'm now at the same Shell charging station in Bukit Batok so we have to choose here tap to charge okay let's go. so now it says preparing to charge setting up the communication with the car There we go. Okay, let's have a break, buy some coffee, and come back later. Wow! So this area actually lights up, and you can actually hear the fan, cooling fan because it's charging cool okay so now we are at 89% after about 38 minutes okay so use your phone to authenticate this charger okay right so we need to first stop the charging using the app and we can plug out okay right good to go So let me see about uh, what is the range that we have.
252 Okay Not bad ya yeah. Okay So just one thing I left out This car model Actually has Panoramic roof Okay, so I guess you have to open, you have to press this button so the windows will open. Wow! Look at that man, it's the whole roof. But this glass won't open. I like some uh, panoramic, some sunroof, I mean. Maybe panoramic roof won't open fully. Yeah. Oh. Ah, I see. Okay. It does, it does. Let's see how far it goes back. Damn. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay, so I have to close the glass with this first. Then... Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so maybe I'll just leave it open. You know, it's because it's very nice. Right. Okay, let's head back to the original uh, parking spot for this car. Okay, so I'm back at the original parking spot for this car. Just would like to go through with you some of the menus again. So we have electrical information here. Accumulated total mileage. My current journey. And the balance range. So, this is where the uh, battery range is. Here. Right? So, likely full tank should be about 300 kilometer. More or less. Maybe more. Yeah, I don't have enough time to fully charge it. So hopefully in future, uh, EV cars will come with longer uh, battery capacity or rather bigger battery capacity so it can last about 400 to 500 clicks per charge. So that will actually resolve a lot of uh, range anxiety and uh, you can be comfortable at charging your car once a week for a normal user okay so this is the tire pressure bar okay guys thank you for watching uh, this is the link pop up for my other review of the Hyundai Kona EV
please click on it like and share thank you guys good night